answers down. Let me get back to that pair deck. I'm looking at the pair deck. You guys look at the pair deck. And we have here uh, y equals x minus 4. And we have the points. We have the points uh, 2, negative 8. Okay, is that point on the system? Yes or no? Okay, type in yes or no. Uh, let's see. Let's. Uh, I'm back. Here I am. Okay. I have it here on the board. You guys can see. Is this point on this system, on this line, and on this line, do they intersect at that point? If it's, you know, if they both share that point, it means that they, that they are, um, that, 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 uh, what am I saying? That they intersect at that point. If they share that point. Okay. I'm taking a look at your answers. It's a yes or no. I mean, I don't want you to guess. You guys got to see if you, right? So what you can do is remember this real quick. I'll show you the first one. Let's see if it's on this first point. This is X. This is Y. And plug the 2 in for the X and the negative 8 for Y. So let's take this equation. Y equals. So let's say Y equals negative 5 x plus 2. Okay, so let's plug in negative 8 for my y, negative 8, and 2 for my x, and let's see if they equal. If they equal, we know it's on that point. So, on the left, I have negative 8 equals negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, plus 2, negative 10 plus 2 is Negative 8 equals negative 8. So it's on the green one. You got to see if it's on the black. Okay, if it's on the black, then it shows, right? So if this works, if we know it's on the green. Is it do the same thing on the black? So go ahead and plug it in the black and give me a yes or a no. I'm going to check the pair deck. Should I stand? Am I standing in the way? I'm just going to put on the pair deck. You guys, you guys keep working. I know. I don't think. You guys are probably not going to be able to see me. I'm going to. Hmm. Does anyone need more time? Raise your hand if you need more time. Put your hand in front of the camera. I need more time, Sensei. Okay. Let's ask the reverse question. Who does not need more time? I'm done, Sensei. Put your hand. I'm not going to call on you. I just want to know if you're done. Okay. Some of you aren't even raising your hands. How can I read your mind? I'm not a mind reader. I'll give you 30 more seconds. Here, I'm going to set this up, though. The black y equals x minus 4, right? Plug in your x, plug in your y. Plug in the x, plug in the y. y is negative 8, y is here, negative 8. Plug in the x, 2. Hmm. Let's see what you guys have for answers. Check in the pair deck. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 11 of you said no, four of you said yes, 12 of you, oh, we're switching, so only 15 of you have voted, looks like someone changed their answers, okay, how many of you, out of 28, come on guys, got to try this, maybe you're stuck, maybe I didn't give you enough time, but look here, I'm stopping presenting, look, negative 8, what is 2 minus 4? Now, to take away 4, I like to switch the signs. But you could say, I can't take away 4 from 2. Make that a plus negative 4. They're different signs, so we subtract. Negative 8, 2 minus 4 is 2, and I have more negatives than negative 2. Does negative 8 equal negative 2? 
No, so they are not on the same line. Leila, do your math work. Okay. Are there any questions on that? Make sure I'm gonna I'm gonna pin myself. See if I'm like the whole board. It looks like the whole board's up there. Any questions? Let's do the next one on the pair deck. No, you guys see the answer there? No, actually, maybe I should present. I, I mean, no, I know you can see the pair deck, but. The answer is no, it is not. There it is. You guys see the answer there. Okay. Solve the system. Okay. So solve the system here. Let me guys go ahead and get started on that. Solve the system. I am going to take roll while you guys get started on that. Okay. So where do these two intersect? You have to have an X and a Y axis. Plug the negative two into the Y and then solve for X. And that'll give you, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go with uh, Crystal. I'm put the call. Crystal is going to say it in the chat. I'm looking at the chat, Crystal. You always put it in the chat. Mm. There she is. Okay, we got to. If you're at the school today, Crystal, we I'd switch that laptop out for you. Okay, Rosa Balderas, Antonio Cervantes. Here. Edith Che Borges. Here. Here. Sherlyn Coronado. Naomi Cortez. Here. Abigail Gonzalez Viegas. I'm here. Uh, Octavio Guerra. Here. David Guzman. Alberto Juarez. Here. Who is that? David Guzman. A little late there, David. Late because I had said Alberto. Anyway, it's my fault. You're not your fault. Why am I complaining? Angelina Lou. Here. Gotcha, Alberto. Angelina Lou. Crystal Magallanes. Here. Daniel Mejia. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. We're, we're going all over the place. Edgar Mejia. Here. Leilani Mendoza. Here. Jose Mina. I don't even know who Jose is. I've never seen that guy before. Noel Munoz. Here. Elias Ortega. Angelina Rodriguez. Austin Rodriguez. Here. Here. Nic Nicholas Rodriguez. Here. Olivia Sandoval. Here. Rosie Serrato. Here. Devin Solis. Here. Italia Solorio. Here. Le Leitali Tuatama. Here. Andy to my mate. Here. Quinlan Wilson. Leilani Zavala. Here. Okay, here's who I've absent. Some of you I missed because I, I lost track. So a bunch of people said here when I when I was, I don't know. Just say you're here because a lot I lost track. Rosa Baldera, Sherlyn Coronado, Angelina Liu, Daniel Mejia, Jose Mina, Devin Solis, Quinlan Wilson. Rosa, are you here? Sherlyn, Angelina, Jose Mina, Daniel Mejia. I'm here. Gotcha. And that's where I think I lost track. Uh, Devin Solis and Quinlan Wilson. Let's do it again one more time. I thought Angelina was here, but maybe not. I Rosa am. Angelina Lou? Yeah. All right. 
Rosa Balderas, Sherlyn Coronado, Jose Mina, Devin Solis, Quinlan Wilson. Rosa, Sherlyn, Jose, Devin, yeah. and Quinlan. Devin, is that you? Yeah. Quinlan, are you there? Okay, one last time. Let's uh, someone, someone says they're there. I just have Rosa Valderas, Sherlyn Coronado, Jose Mina, and Quinlan Wilson. Any of those here? She's here in the chat. Who's that? Rosa says she's here in the chat. Rosa. So just Sherlyn Coronado and Jose Mina, Quinlan Wilson. All right. So let's see what you guys got for the system. Uh, I'm going to check out what you guys got. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. Let's all take a look at it together. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a deleted response. Ooh, look at this. X equals two. Very good. Now you get to get the Y. Make sure you get the Y. That looks good, though. Bro, but the Y is, Y is, is negative two, right? We got the Y. Two, negative two. So that's right. X is two. Y is negative two. Very good. X is two. Make sure you plot that negative two. Make it look like this because on the test, it's going to look like that. But you are right. X is two and Y is also equal to negative two. We got that there. Two, negative two. Very good. Two, negative two. Very good. Very good. Nice. You guys, very good. Okay, so here's, I'm going to show you how I would do this. Oh, I didn't even write it up here on the board. Andy said something in the chat. Okay, let me check. You guys, thanks so much for monitoring the chat for me. I have a terrible connection right now, so I'm sorry. Yeah, do that, Andy. Always do that. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. If you guys have a terrible connection, please log on and log log back on, log back off. Okay, so we have here 6x. I'm doing different colors. I'm, I'm, I'm writing on my board right now. 6x plus 3y equals 6 is the one equation. And then we have y equals negative 2. y equals negative 2 is my other equation. So here we go. I'm back right here. Boom. All we say is, all right, y is equal to negative 2. So I can plug in negative 2 for that. So let's rewrite this as 6x plus 3 instead of y. We're using substitution here, right? Substitution. So I can plug in my negative 2, negative 2 there, and I got 6x. So 3 times negative 2, negative 6. So we'll say 6x minus 6, because 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, so we write as a minus 6, equals 6. And then we just solve for x. Draw the line. Remember, this is 6 times x minus 6. We could add the 6, add the 6. 6x equals 6 plus 6 is 12. Right? Get rid of the minus 6, we add 6 to the opposite. And if we multiply by 6, we divide by 6, we get x equals 2, and we got our y is negative 2, so we write our answer as 2 comma negative 2. That's how I want you to write your answer, like that. Boom. Raise your hand. Don't lie. I understand it, Sensei. Put your hand up in front or do this thing. I get it, Sensei. I'm getting an A on this test. All right, we're going to review tomorrow too. Don't don't worry, don't forget. So, but just keep doing these. Okay, let's do the next pair deck. A lot of hands. I see a lot of hands. It's great. Okay, here's the next one. Solve below. So solve the system. Ooh, 
my question to you, you guys look at that. Are we going to use substitution or elimination? I'm going to ask you, as I'm writing it down, I'm going to write it down, write the, on my board here. Are we going to use substitution or elimination? Substitution or elimination? Okay, I wrote it down. I want to ask you, do we use substitution or elimination? I'm going to, in fact, why don't you guys write on the pair deck? Don't solve it yet. Write on the pair deck, substitution or elimination. You could put S for substitution or E for elimination. Do it right now. And then don't, don't solve it. Write substitution or elimination, S or E, S or E. Write it on the pair deck, S or E. Write the letter S for substitution. E for elimination. Write it now. Get it done in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, IDK if you don't know. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see how many of you responded to this. Hopefully you did. You should all respond. Okay, even if you're wrong, no big deal, guys. No big deal. Guess it if you have to. Uh, let's see. Uh, show responses. Okay. Elimination. E for elimination, S for substitution, E for elimination, S for substitution, S for substitution, S for substitution, E for elimination, E, E, S or E, I don't know, E, S, okay, good, okay, strong effort, okay, guys, let me show you what it is, thank you for making that effort, here we go, this is what it is, uh-oh, did I freeze, I'm frozen, oh, shoot, wait, am I back, okay, my computer froze for a second. Yeah. Alberto, can you hear me? Am I alive? I have an internet connection. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Alberto. All right. Okay, thanks, Alberto. Hopefully you guys can see. Notice the X is line with the X, the Y is line with the Y, equals line with the equals, and numbers line up with the numbers. If they're all lined up, you're thinking elimination. Elimination. It's elimination. And you're going to add them up. So go ahead and add them. Remember, those cancel out. Go ahead and solve for X. Go for it, guys. Solve for X and Y. You guys are on it. You're on your own. Da na 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 I'll check your guys' answers if anyone has it. Oh, there's a correct. Antonio, you're right. You just got your X's and Y's mixed up. Check that real quick. I don't see a lot of answers yet. Maybe you guys need more time or maybe we're lost. Let me ask you this. I'm coming back. Raise your If you're lost, don't raise your hand. But if you need more time, I'm still working on it, Sensei. Raise your hand. I need more time. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and show you how to do it. 
Okay. I am talking. Wait, can you hear me? Rosa, Rosa can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do it because I didn't see a lot of hands up. Look, we just add these up. Now, remember, because this is the opposite, we subtract 2x minus 5x. We subtract is 3x and add more negative, so it's negative 3x. These cancel out. 26 minus 8, opposite signs. So we subtract. Uh, 26 minus 8 is 18. And because this is more positive, this is positive 18. And then to solve negative 3 times x, I divide by negative 3. And x equals negative 6. And then to solve for the y, I got to plug the negative 6 back into the either one of these equations. I'm going to plug it into the green. So I take my green. Now this is x. So instead of x, now I use substitution. Leave my x blank minus y equals negative 8. Plug in negative 6 here for my x. And then you just solve. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Minus y equals negative 8. I add 12, right? I want to get solve for y. So I add negative 12, so I add 12. Add 12. Can you guys see that that low? Let's see. Olivia, can you see this low or do I need to move my camera down? Um, can you move it down a little bit? Yeah, thanks. How's that, Olivia? That's good. That's good. Okay. So these cancel out. You notice I have a negative y equals negative 8 plus 12. Opposite sign, so I subtract, right? Uh, 8 minus 12 is 4. Four and I'm more positive, so it's four. I'm gonna write over here negative y equals four. I want to get rid of that negative by dividing by negative one. Basically, the sign switch y equals negative four. So I have my final answer is this negative six, comma negative four. There you go. You gotta practice it. Now, this will be on the video, and we're gonna do this again tomorrow. But you guys, you gotta practice this at home. Practice that problem, I'm telling you. Practice it at home. I'll get out of the way. I know I'm in the way. I'm gonna fix my pin me, see what I look like. Are there any questions? No? Well, let me get back up. Put this back up. I'm adjusting my camera. Let's do one more. We'll do one more, okay? Oh, maybe we'll keep going. Okay, here we go. Let's do... Um, so there's the end. I'm looking at the pair deck now. Or should I present? I guess I'll present so we can all look at the same thing. Okay. So um, there is the answer. Okay. Now look. Ooh. This one we can use elimination. Think, think, and think. We'll make this our last one. So look, it's lined up. Use elimination. But I have to change. Like this is 3x. I should make this a negative 3x. This one I can't. I can't make this into 14 because I can't use multiplication. I can in multiplication and make this a negative 3x. Okay. So should I, let's see. Let's take a look. Actually, let me write it down.
Now, it's a, so everything's lined up, so we use elimination. Let's see, I'm going to write it over here. X minus 4Y equals negative 2. And then 3X minus 14Y equals negative 4. Okay, I have it written down on the board. I'm going to go back so you guys can see me on the camera. Boom, here I am. And I'm going to stop presenting here. Boom. Okay. So here are my problems. I'm going to use elimination because X is lined up with the X. Y is lined up with Y. <laughs> equals lined up with equals. And negative, the number is lined up with the number. Except I want to change this into a negative 3X. This is positive 3X. So eliminate the X. Let's change the negative 3X. And I'm going to do that through. How am I going to change it? Italia, how am I going to change this to negative 3? What am I going to do? Multiply. Multiply. By what? Um, 14. Well, I change to negative 3. Oh. If this is x, how do I change to negative 3x? What do I multiply by? It's easy. What's that? Negative two. Well, it's easier than what you're thinking. You're, I think I'm making it more confusing to you than what it is. Let's see, let me ask someone else, and I'll get back to you, Italia. Okay. Um, three. Uh, not three. You're so close, David Guzman. Hang on. Not three. I, three will. If I have three and three, it'll be six x. Octavio, say your hand up. What do you multiply by? Negative three. Negative three. David, you see that? You're right, but you just have to make it a negative. Do you see why it's a negative, David? Yeah. 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 So if I make this a negative, then it'll be negative 3x, and then these will eliminate. Italia, does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and multiply it out and see what our new equation looks like. So negative 3 times x will be negative 3x. Now i got to multiply by everything. Negative 3 times negative 4y is plus 12y. You guys have been able to do this on your own. I'm going to be able to solve it on your own, though. Negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be positive 6. And now I can line up my green equation with it. Make sure you change your signs correctly. This will be 3x minus 14y equals negative four and then you guys go ahead and eliminate it you guys eliminate it okay go ahead and solve for x and y see if you can get this on your own Remember, I want you to do all of them. Okay. Write your answers down. I'm going to check them out. Again, you guys, this is something to help us try your best. If you get it wrong, this is the time to get it wrong because we're practicing it for the test. Is 3 times 14 negative 42? We don't need to multiply this by 3, Italia. This stays the same. We're just adding these. I, I think I'm trying to understand what you're asking. I don't know if that's helping you or not. Uh, yeah. Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, well, you just once, Italia, look, once I have this the same but opposite, these are going to cancel out so I can eliminate it. So I don't need to change this green equation. It's good. I just have to multiply. If I want to change this negative, I'm going to multiply everything in the red equation. The green equation, you can just leave it alone. Now I can just go ahead and add them. Oh, okay. 
Mr. Sanchez, that's a plus sign, correct? Which one? This? Uh, no, the green. Next yeah, this, the we're thing. adding these. But you know when we add them, see how these are offset, we subtract, offset, we subtract, offset, we subtract. I just put a plus here. Just look at these signs. If they're the offset, we subtract. Okay? Okay. You guys, and on your own, try to solve these on your own. It's like it's so helpful if you guys solve these on your own, you know? All right, I'm going to take a look at your answers. Actually, I don't even know what the answer is, you know? Okay, let's look at the, let's take a look together. We're going to solve for the X and the Y. Okay, look at your responses. Y is negative one, that is correct. Y is negative one, what is X though? Negative six, negative one, that is correct. Ooh. Not seeing a lot of correct answers. I'm seeing a couple of correct answers. Negative six, negative one. Uh, looks like we're still having trouble with this. Just make sure you guys practice this. Okay, can I go, can I start solving it or maybe some of you need more time? Raise your hand if you're ready for me to solve it so I know I can move. Put your hand up then say I'm ready to solve it. Ready for you to solve it. Okay. Whether you understand it or you don't. Okay. Put your hands down. Raise your hand if you need more time. Okay. I'm going to take it that, then, then I'm going to solve it. Okay. Look carefully. Look. Negative 3x plus 3x. Since I multiply this by negative 3, these are going to cancel out. Okay, now, opposite sign, so I subtract. 12 minus 14 is two. I have more negatives with the 14, so it's negative two y equals. Opposite sign, so I subtract. Six minus four is two. I have more positives, so it's positive two. Now, negative two times y, this is multiplication, right? Say it a million times, this is multiplication, so opposite multiplication is divide. And y equals 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. Okay, so a lot of you got that. So then plug the negative 1. I'm going to plug it in this. Any You have this equation. You can plug it in any one of these equations. Any one. Plug it into any one of these equations. I'm going to plug it into this one here, this red one. So my y is equal to negative 1. I have x minus 4 times y equals negative 2. I'm going to plug in negative 1 here for my y, and then you just solve. Negative 4, if there's nothing between, it's times. Multiply. Negative 4 times negative 1. That's a, two negatives make a positive in multiplication, right? x plus 4 equals negative 2. Then I subtract 4. That eliminates, look at, same sign. So I add, even though it's a minus, it's the same sign. Four plus two is six. And since they're both, since I'm adding, it stays a negative. So it's negative six, negative one. You guys, hopefully you're copying down. Listen, if, I should have said this at the beginning, but if you're not writing these down on a piece of paper, there's no way you're going to be able to learn this stuff. If you're not, if you're just sitting there watching me and you're understanding it, you're not going to remember it. You have to practice it by solving these on a piece of paper. I'm assuming that you're doing that. That's why I wish we were in the classroom. I could watch you guys. If you're not doing it, I'll be like, dude, get your paper out. Get your pencil out. 
So if you're not doing that, you're not going to remember this, right? Especially those who have their cameras off. I can't tell what you're doing. Even the ones that have their cameras in the ceiling, I can't really tell what you're doing. The ones who I can see, I can see that you're writing it out. That's great. And those are the ones who I can see are getting the answers right. But this is all about, under, you know, this is all about us trying to learn. So you don't have to take math one again. Get on to math two, you know? And then, you know, you don't want to have to take two math classes in a year. That, blah, blah. Actually, I like math. Math is kind of cool. I do every single, all my math classes are, you could be like me. Fail this class, then fail the next one. You could take three math classes. Because well, all those other classes are a joke. What do you, you know what I mean? Do you need, what are you going to, history, ah, history is interesting, but, you know, it's all about math. Science, ah, actually use science with math. English, ugh, write a poem. Who reads poems anyway? You know what I mean? Actually, writing is the most important thing you can do. Are there any questions on this? Now, let me go on so you can see it. Can you see? Are there any questions? Make sure you have this written down. Right? You have this and then this step. Because you can see the steps. You can do it again. And then you, you see you solve this. You solve it. You plug it in. Solve for the negative six. And boom, there's your answer. If you don't have it written down, it's like, what are you doing? Okay. Are there any questions? We are going to do this again tomorrow. I, I'm expecting to be in the classroom tomorrow. So I'll be there in the classroom. I don't think we'll have a Wi-Fi issue. But um, uh, are there any questions? All right. Uh, if you're here, if you came in late, I got to mark you here. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. You guys have a good one. I love you. <laughs> bye, Leitali. Bye, Edgar. Bye, Angelina. Bye, David. Uh, posting the recording. When I'll try to do it as soon as I'm done, David. Bye, Elias. Bye, Angelina. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Octavio. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Nicholas. Bye, Abigail. Okay, we'll try talking. But we'll I'll stay after class, Crystal. Quinlan, I marked you absent. Why, why are you so late, man? Uh, I was I was downstairs um helping my mom with something. Sorry. Doesn't your mom know you have school? Uh, yeah. It's your mom's fault that you're late. No, not really. Okay. Well, I could talk to her if you want. No, it's fine. All right. Are you, you going to start coming back to school, man? Um, I I want to wait until the rest of my teachers are here because, you know. How many teachers are not coming in? Uh, all of them except for you. Really? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. All of them except for me? Oh yeah. God. Okay, I, that totally makes